students welcome back to english class today we are going to start one new poem and the poem name is rain on the roof it is composed by coach skinny coach skinny was an american writer he was not a poet he was a lawyer politician as well as a journalist he was born on 24th november 1826 and died on 25th january 1904 you must have experienced rain falling onto the roof of your house when the sky is covered with thick dark clouds it gives you fun what thoughts flash through your mind and read the poem how the poet reacts to the rain and what imaginations and memories come to his mind you must have seen when the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining have you ever listened the patter of the soft rain on the roof what thoughts flash through your mind as you heard the melody of the nature we will understand what kind of thoughts come in the mind of the poet whenever he listens the pattering sound of the falling rain drop let me tell you a few lines about this poem as the title of this poem suggest us that this poem is all about the rain the power and the miracle of the rain in this poem the poet has shared his best memories sweet memories associated with his childhood and he has said in this poem that whenever he listen the sound created by falling raindrops it gives him immense pleasure because he had a very sweet memories best memories associated with this falling raindrop it reminds him something which is very much special so we will learn here in this poem what are those memories and why those memories and the sound created by the falling raindrop is so special for the poet we will come to know after reading this poem so at first let's recite the poem and then i will give you the difficult words stanza wise and then explanation let's start the first stanza when the humid shadows over over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead in the first stanza the poet is talking about a rainy night he says that when the humid shadows so i will give you explanation at first we will see the difficult words and their meaning let's see the first difficult word is the mist humid mist what full of moisture next hover that is to move here and there next one is a starry sphere starry sphere refers here to the sky which is full of stars so we can say the sky full of stars next one is melancholy melancholy means what sad upset now the next difficult word is cotton chamber bed here this word refers to the bedroom of the poet next one is patter patter means tapping sound or the sound created by falling raindrop onto the roof in the 
first stanza, the poet is talking about the rainy night. He says that when the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears. He says that when the thick cloud, thick dark cloud covered with moisture, full with moisture, and it starts raining. It means here the boy wants to say that when the sky is full of dark cloud, it covers the entire sky which was earlier full of stars. And because of this dark cloud, it covers the entire sky and it creates darkness everywhere. And the dark clouds hover, that means move here and there and create darkness everywhere. Even on the earth we can see the darkness. And the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears. When the poet sees the darkness everywhere, it seems to the poet that the cloud, the dark cloud is very much upset, very much sad and the dark cloud is crying and tears is coming out from the dark cloud. It seems to the poet that dark cloud is very much sad and because of its sadness the cloud the dark cloud is crying and shedding its tear, tears in the form of water or in the form of what rain droplets what a place to press the pillow of a cotton chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead. The next moment, Poet talks about how does he feel whenever he listens the pattering sound, the sound of falling raindrop. Whenever he listens the sound created by the falling raindrop onto the roof of his house, inside his home, when he he takes rest in his cotton chamber bed, in a comfortable bed and he listens the sound of falling raindrop onto the roof of his house. It gives him pleasure, immense pleasure. The poet finds himself very much lucky. He says that whenever he listens, the sound created by the raindrops. The falling raindrop is very much lucky for him because it gives him very much pleasure, immense happiness. Let's move to the next para. Next para is, sorry, next stanza. Every tinkle on the singles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into a busy big start and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof as I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof and next in next stanza he is further telling about the falling raindrop. So, of course, the sea is difficult goes and they are made. In the second stanza, the difficult words are tinkle, that means like ringing sound. And the next difficult word is single, as as I am. Singles means what? Roof. But here the roof is made up of 
light material like tin or asbestos. You can see the different kinds of roof, especially in the village area. When the roof is made up of light material like the tin or the asbestos or the wood. So whenever the raindrops falls on, whenever the raindrops fall onto the roof of that kind of light material roof, it creates a sound. So here we are talking about that kind of roof only. And the next one is echo. Echo is what repeated sound. Fancies. Fancies means what? Imaginations. Next one is recollections. Recollections means what? Old memories. Next one is pattern. Pattern means again the sound of falling raindrop. Now, try to understand the explanation. Every tinkle on the singles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy big start. Further, the poet is saying that every sound created by the falling raindrops creates an echo, creates some sound. And after listening that sound, so many imaginations start taking place into the mind of the poet. He started thinking, he started thinking about so many imagination, so many memories associated with the falling raindrops and a thousand recollections weave their air thread into woof as I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof. The further, further the poet is saying that whenever he listens the sound of falling raindrop, every sound created by the falling raindrops brings so many emotions and so many old memories and it creates a beautiful picture as when the thread are whipped in a particular way it creates a particular pattern in the fabric similarly all the old memories and the emotions start taking place in poet's mind and those all old memories and imaginations creates a beautiful picture, a series of beautiful sweet memories in the mind of the poet. Now, let's recite the third stanza. Now in memory comes my mother as she used in years ago to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel her phone look on me as I list to their this refrain, which is played upon the singles by the patter of the ring. Let's see the difficult words and their meaning. So in this third stanza, there are difficult words upon means long past. Second one is ill, that means before. Next one is dawn, that means early morning. Fall look, that means loving look. Now the refrain. Refrain means what? The repeated sound of falling raindrops. So in this third stanza, the poet is the poet is telling or explaining the secret. He is disclosing the secret why the falling raindrops gives him immense pleasure. Why he has sweet memories associated with the falling raindrops. We will understand in third stanza. The poet is saying that in his memories, his mother used to come. In his memories, his mother comes. 
as she used in years upon to regard the darling dreamers if she left them till the dawn oh i feel her full look on me as i listen to this refrain which is played upon the singers by the patter of the rain he says that the sound of the falling rain drops is so special to the poet because the sound created by the falling rain drops reminds him the fond look of his mother his adorable mother because the poet has lost his mother when he was very much small now his mother is no more and that is why he had a very sweet memories associated with his mother when his mother was alive in his childhood his mother used to see him very lovingly very fondly before leaving him to sleep in the bed till the early morning at night before leaving the poet in his room his mother used to look him very lovingly till the early morning because next morning she again comes to see next morning again she used to come to see his to see the poet or comes to see her child and that is why the poet think that this rainy night and the sound created the sound created by the rain on the singers or on the roof basically in this stanza the poet wants to say is that wants to say that whenever he listen the sound created by the falling rain drops on to the roof of his house it reminds him how his mother used to love him how his mother used to see him before leaving him into the bed till the early morning so that is why the poet has a very sweet memories of his mother and that is why this falling rain drops and the sound created by this rain drop is very much special for the poet so this was all about the explanation of this poem thank you very much